research says there are four basic types of people, and the group that's the biggest might surprise you. Researchers in Spain presented people with a number of social dilemmas. Based on their responses, 90% of people were sorted into four groups, so optimistic, pessimistic, trusting and envious three of the groups optimistic pessimistic and trusting made up about the same amount of people so right around 20 mm percent -hmm. envious that group was the largest at 30 percent so the re the way that they found this out was they sat people down and they gave them a certain amount of social dilemmas and okay. one that they use is the prisoner's dilemma so a lot of us have heard about this one bring two prisoners <coughs> into two different rooms if they both oh that's oh. it sorry that's that, that that fall? Yeah. did you set the alarm where, where, where are the leaves <laughs> Nothing. Okay, no. Budget oh, yeah. cuts. <laughs> I guess that was kind of All right, continue. All right, prisoner's dilemma. Two different people in two different rooms. Yeah, right. If they both rat each other out, they both get two years. Ah. If no one says anything, they both go free. But if one person rats out the other, that one person who did the, you know, the, the telling ratting. goes sure. free, mm -hmm. and then the other person gets three so years. So are you optimistic? Mm -hmm. You assume the best, the other person will do the right thing, and mm -hmm. in fact, they don't. Huh. Well, I mean, by this classification, I would be described as optimistic, which is, I think, the only metric by which people would call me optimistic. <laughs> now, does anyone ever call you optimistic? No, I, this is the first. It's kind of exciting for me. Um, but yeah, no, I would. I wouldn't say anything, and I would just. Assume you would assume that, that, that you would do yeah. the right thing, and the other person would oh, do the right okay. thing as well. Yeah, you yeah. keep your mouth shut. Rachel, I'm in the ten percent that you can't fall into a category because it depends on the person <laughs> that I'm with. Yes, yeah, if I'm with Matt, because so I know special. he's not talking. I'm not we're talking. Both, mm. Okay, we're good. I don't know, Kylie. I feel like if they lean on me, I know. I mean, if you're, going, pressure. if you're going to commit that crime, you have to do it with someone that you know is not going to rat right. you out. I mean, sure. obviously. Yeah. But I think that what's is this how we get to set up the prisoner's <laughs> dilemma? Yeah, there's a lot no, of caveats. To I want to pick the other person. Uh, yeah. With envious, though, so this one, I immediately kind of just looked at the four groups and I was like, oh, I kind of fall into envious. Like, I'm always shooting for like what that next person has and what I'm looking for. But in this case, if you're envious, you just want to do better than the other person. In which case, you'd want that other person to get the three years in jail you and you them. go free, yeah. even if you didn't say anything and you both went free. Yeah, I mean, they presented a number of different scenarios, yeah. so this was just one. I do think that it makes sense. I think a lot of people keep score based on how they're doing relative to others. Mm. And I have found I definitely used to be that way, and I have slid from that into a much more optimistic standpoint because uh, I think as you get older, you realize that your own success is its own thing. Yeah. It's not necessarily relative to other people's success, whether it's financial or professional or personal or whatever. Yeah, so, right. If if your neighbor has a nice car that doesn't make no, your it doesn't car mean you less can't nice. have a nice car. Oh. Right. The, the right. men out here are the optimists, and Rachel and I. On the outskirts a little Undefined. bit. Undefined. Undefined. <laughs> and if at home you had Matt and Jason are the optimists. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Shocker. Okay, you're gonna have